contribute to our um, community as well. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Good morning. And first of all, well, bon appetit. I, I did the salad. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to miss the chicken, so you will tell me <laughs> if it's good. <laughs> um, well, thank, it's an honor to be here. It's great to be here. And first of all, I would like to thank the hospitality and um, congratulate the team from GBIC. I mean, it's, it's a great event, and, uh, and I'm honored to be here. Second of all, I must apologize for my English. It's far away from being perfect. I'm from Italy. I speak Italian. I'm not very valuable around here, but anyway. <laughs> I've been living many years in Mexico. I do speak Spanish. That's good. I say hasta albures, y muchas cosas. So that's for sure of more value here. Um, I'm excited to be part of the North American region. Um, for sure, there is a lot going on in this region these days, and at least comparing it to, to Europe, the difference between business opportunities is huge. I mean, nothing is moving over there. And here there is a lot, a lot of economic opportunities, and it's uh, very exciting to be part of it. I work for Valorant. Valorant is a company with over 50 years of history, focused on real estate, uh, any kind of real estate, residential, commercial malls, corporate offices, and also infrastructure. We build and operate highways and industrial parks. Our presence, our footprint, is basically in Houston, Texas, and in all central Mexico. Those cities, San Luis Potosí, Querétaro, Aguascalientes, all the region that we call central Mexico. Myself, I'm responsible for the industrial park division. Um, we developed very successfully an industrial park in San Luis Potosí with over 5,000 acres and uh, today, in a few years, it's already marketed more than 50% of it. And um, I would like you to show a very quick video um, to give you an overview of the, of the project.
So there you go. And what do we do in WTC, in this industrial park? Well, basically, we assist, we help, we support any company from around the world that wishes to start or expand their operation in the region. And we assist them in, in any way through a very robust master planning that we do from the beginning of the project so that the customers, when they come to start their operation, they won't have any problem with permitting, for example, and they will get instant and very fast connection to all the utilities that are needed, such as energy, water, natural gas, etc. We have customers from around the world, from everywhere. You can see the charts from uh, USA, of course, and Mexico, the North American region, but also from Europe, with a strong presence from Germany, France, and also from Asian countries. The sectors of the industry that we've been attracting are also valuable. The more important today still is the automotive industry, which is more than 50% of it, but we also have a lot of logistics companies, and lately, a lot of also white appliances and electronics. Besides the standard services that an industrial park uh, normally provides, we always strive to, to provide something more, what we call premium or amenities. Again, to make easier the operation of the companies. So we're offering inside the park customs office, so it's easier for them to make any transaction. We offer a free trade zone, and we offer also what we call commercial services, such as fast food area, restaurants, hotels, corporate space. All those services that may help and, and make even easier to operate for the companies. Also, very important logistic solution, such a very important rail terminal inside the park. Now, how do we make money? As an industrial park, we offer two products. One is what we call the build to suit project. We build facilities uh, designed specifically for the needs of our customer. That's why we call it build to suit, which by the way, it's a, it's a standard concept in the industrial market. We take care of everything, the construction, the cash flow, of course, permitting and everything. So that's very, very convenient for our customers because they don't have to worry about that part of their business, the real estate. In some cases, it's not part of their strategy. But at the same time, if they're not interested in that structure or that solution, we sell to them land, pieces of land, lots inside the industrial park which is not common, not all industrial parks do that. And uh, we sell land to companies that will build a facility for their manufacturing processes, but also to those companies that wishes to build facility on a speculative structure. So that will help and, um, and will increase the options that customers may have to expand or to start operation in Mexico. Now, the free tree zone is, uh, is another uh, property that we offer at the park. Now, what are we doing here in Roswell? Like the slide is mentioning, great step led us to Brunswick. Um, in constant touch with all our customers, with all our bases uh, of, of customers, and uh, speaking about that phenomenon that for sure everybody knows about it, that is called the near shoring. What is the near shoring, by, by the way? In my opinion, near shoring is an, in an industrial market, the trendy world for Location, location, location. The old motto of real estate of all the history. 
Because after all, nearshoring is getting closer to the market. The biggest market is today's the North America. And getting closer reduces logistics risk and make it more efficient operation. Now, getting closer sometimes means moving all the manufacturing capacity from Asia, maybe, or somewhere else, but coming to North America. Sometimes it's not that easy to move all the manufacturing capacity. So they move just a part of it. And in sometimes when it's very, very complicated, or maybe it will take years to do it, then it becomes an opportunity for warehousing. Like um, in a previous uh, presentation, uh, I heard that somebody mentioned, I think it was from the port, that there are lots of opportunities in the warehousing uh, business precisely. So, combining all those factors, plus the strength of the chain, uh, the supply chain in place today in all this region, plus the USMCA that they just brilliantly exposed to us with all the advantages that we provide, it makes only sense to make and to extend our network with an industrial park here in Roswell. Besides, Roswell has great logistics. I mean, that, that punch line of five ports of entry, I mean, that's, maybe you live here and you're getting used to it, but that's amazing. I mean, that you can say by road, by rail, by sea, by air, by space. Who can say that? I mean, that's, that's wow. Um, and of course, all the, all the team from GBIC, they are very proactive, very supportive, so that provides a sensation to all the investors that um, permitting will be easier, for sure. I hope, <laughs> but it looks like it does, that it will. Yes, so. so, the support of Roswell, the mutual effect, USMCA, plus the, all the chains in place, makes all the sense to extend the network to this part, to this city, to Bronzeville. Here, well, it's, it's uh, talking a little more about the near shoring. By the way, our, our network is expanding even in Mexico a little more, to Guadalajara and Querétaro, but I think we are sure that it will be more reachful if we have this network until here, to, to Bronzeville. So, Today, Mario is with me here, and uh, he's part of the WTC team, and he's been involved 100% in the development of this new project here in Brunswick. So I want to ask him to come up here to give us some, some snapshots of the project. Not a lot. Maybe there are some competitors here, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, anyway, come up over here, Mario. And before Mario starts presenting the show, I would like once again to thank uh, the hospitality, the, the attention. And um, uh, please feel free to contact us, Mario or myself, uh, for further information on this project. We will for sure share the information as we move forward on it. And we're sure that this project will enhance uh, the economic growth of the city, of the region, and, uh, and therefore the quality of life of everybody that lives here. So thank you, thank you very much.